was waiting for this sign here to show the temperature, but it's not going to. At the Kings County uh, Chrysler, I guess it is. Huh, I guess they changed that sign. You used to always show the temperature. Got some used cars and stuff. A little bit of snow came down in this area. There was a muffler shop back there, too. I actually went to that once, if you ever need a muffler shop in that blue building in the right. Low, uh, low traction on the wheels. Uh, it's, it's a wet, like a wet snow, so it's hard to get uh, traction on it. It's hard to walk in right now. It's only a drive through of Montague. I didn't even look. So behind me is uh, Pool's Corner. We're coming in from the highway number three way. Various Main Street stores. Concrete Form Rentals. I don't think I've ever seen that sign before. Gillis Drive In. They closed on the 4th, it says. Brutnell Center. There's an auto parts. A glass repair company. H&R Block. Down East Auto, of course. Hard to miss that sign. The vehicles are making a, some mist that gets in the windshields. Yeah, it was snowing earlier, so it must be like around one degree or something. It's right around the freezing mark. Gas 150.5, it's been that way I think for a few days at least. Here we have the McDonald's, and uh, on the right there's a superstore. A mall on the left. I'm pretty sure there's still a big pool hall in there for anyone that's playing pool. Don't know if they've ever actually been in the place. Stuff on the window. It's actually kind of uh, trouble to walk in this wet snow right now. I was uh, on it not long ago. Look at the subway, the Wendy's, Tim Hortons on the left, the pharmacy on the right. It's a bit of a grade here. This is a bit of a, a bit of a hill here, actually. You know that light always turns when I approach it. I don't know. Maybe it's got like reverse sensors. I'll go this way since it's just gonna. I'm just gonna sit here anyway. And there was a Sobeys. Oh, this road might be a bit uh, icy or snowy, I just thought. I don't know, it's all cleaned up. What is the name of this road? find a road sign on the, anywhere. There might, one up. might be one here. What's it called? Um, Fraser Street. Fraser, just like that old TV show, come to think of it. Obvious snow here. Good thing it's melting in it, actually. People zipping around. So I'll do what I usually do. I just film through it and then uh, stop on the other side. Here on the right, 
Once in a while, it never sold. Everything else sells on PEI. And it wasn't that bad a price. And I think it had like three bachelor apartments in the top or something. So I wonder why nobody bought that. Like that building in the other corner, it sold, and then nobody did anything with it that I can see. The right is the Wood Islands Road. That goes directly to Wood Islands Ferry Terminal. Many visitors have been down that road. I could turn right and go up there, but I'll go this way. The long way. It's more scenic, I believe. traffic in this road, but it would be, you know, slower speeds and stuff. We'll take it right on Dowson's Road. There's a Royal Canadian Legion on the left back there. They have a 20 kilometer hour speed limit in their driveway, it says. Like the taxpayers pay to build this whole thing, and then someone pays a small fee to have their name on it. So that seems, uh, you know, something off with that. Well, if anybody's new to snow, you see this parking lot? You can test your like tires and stuff. Like, like I can spin there, take it off because it's quite slippery. Pretty much anything can spin. But say you want to test your brakes, like right here, you can just do a quick stab, and then yeah. The ABS went off, and uh, you know, but this is just a two wheel, front wheel drive car, so. You know. But I drove four wheel drives, and you'd be surprised what they can get stuck on. <laughs> 